story new at five vandalization of a monument in West Point. Let's see if we can get WTV's Andrea Adams to join us. She's live with an update on that story. Craig, city workers worked all morning trying to get this stain out right here, and it was much worse this morning. City workers say that it could take up to a couple of weeks before it's completely gone. It's immediate frustration. The West Point Police Department posted on Facebook that this was the second recent vandalism of a downtown monument. Randy Jones served in the Army for over 30 years and retired in 1998. He says to see stuff like this hurts his feelings. It's because of all the veterans that served before me, with me, and after me, that you have the right to do stuff like that. Whether it's right or wrong, and I certainly believe it's wrong, and you probably don't want me to catch you doing it myself. He says he didn't want to draw a conclusion, but he believes that it was someone from a younger generation. I think it's real unfortunate. One, because they don't have a clue how fortunate they are to be here. Jones says no one should ever vandalize any property, no matter who it belongs to. The thing that is just as troubling about it is I don't understand why people have to do any kind of graffiti. Now Jones currently works for the city and he says that they did reach out to a marble company in Columbus and they did suggest a few products that will help the stain come out easier. Reporting live in West Point, Andrea Adams, WTVA 9 News.